barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So, got a question, y'all. Question. Who wins tomorrow night, dawg? This is a hell of a fight, man. Hell of a fight, man. Um, as I I was talking to, 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 to some people, uh, don't forget Breadman prepared J-Rock against Jared Hurd. And honestly, that's the best single-handed performance that I think I've seen in modern boxing, man. I, 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 I think I described it in my post-fight video as Michael Jordan with gloves. Oh, he was sensational that night. It's nothing Jared Hurd could do. Even his father at the end of the fight, rest in peace, Mr. Hurd, man. Uh, uh, we miss you, man. I, I genuinely miss you on Friday nights, man. When I used to cover fights, man, I used to hang out with him on Friday nights with, with uh, Sam Watson. Uh, he said, J-Rock just kicked my son's ass. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And... Uh, um, do Caleb Plant and Breadman have that chemistry yet? He had J Rock since a young lad. J Rock is a uh, is a boxer, puncher like Caleb Plant. Can Caleb Plant punch in between? Uh, can Caleb Plant land that stab jab? Can Caleb Plant manipulate David Benavidez with his eyes? If he can manipulate David Benavidez with his eyes, I I, I think Caleb Plant has the advantage because uh, Caleb Plant has the ability. He's one of the few fighters, period, on earth that has the ability to turn a jab into a left hook uh, in one motion. Not many fighters can do that. Uh, I'm being candidly honest. Uh, maybe in no way Plant... I'm talking about with the efficiency and the accuracy and the punch placement and all that. I, there are a few fighters that can do that. And then when you look at David Benavidez, the Mexican monster, you know, he's going to apply that pressure. He's going to come forward. But here's the catch. Will his pressure, will Caleb Plant succumb to his pressure? You know, I really have no idea who's going to win this fight. I want to bet on this fight. But uh, I, I, I think the better the better fights to bet on might be on the undercard because this fight can go either way. I'll, I'll have my mind made up tomorrow. I really don't know. I just saw the weigh-in. Weigh-in was what it was supposed to be. I'm glad both of them actually did the weigh-in, didn't, because they're gonna want them. They're gonna want that picture in their man cave 20 years from now, and they'll be telling the story of how what I said to him, and then Saturday night the winner, I beat his ass and. You know, so on and so forth. So, but uh, David Benavidez is the Mexican monster. There's no doubt about that. He is the Mexican monster. And um, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's, it's a 50 50 fight. It is a true 45 55 fight. That's why I wish PBC would have put this on for free, man. If they would have put this on for free and bounced this money to. Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, it would have been a huge success, you know. But, you know, um, I guess they got to pay the fighters. So I understand the financial obligations of people making a decision to either um, uh, buy the pay-per-view or buy Tank Davis pay-per-view. That's totally on you. I completely understand. But if you're around the Vegas area, man, you should check this fight out, man. Prices has dropped. Uh, the 200 section is about $74. So uh, you probably can go straight to the uh, straight to the desk and uh, and pick up some tickets, man. It'll be worth your while. I can honestly say this card ain't worth eighty dollars to me, but this may be on paper the most competitive, complete card that PBC has had since uh, Tony Harrison Charlo two out here in LA and Ontario. I thought that was a hell of a car. It went back and forth. Um, you know, uh, the heavyweights and then the young kid from California, the Olympian, he came in and got upset. Uh, and then obviously, Tony Harrison was beating her. I mean, Tony, I, I thought Tony Harrison was beating Charlo uh, until he wasn't beating him no more. You know, so um, good fights, man. Uh, I, I know that ate that $90 tag with taxes. It is, it is, it's tough. Do what you do. 
But I will say this. It's a hell of a fight. Caleb, <coughs> Caleb Plant, David Benavidez is a hell of a fight. I wish Al would have been more judicious, more understanding with the, uh, with the, uh, with the uh, price point of it. So, but we'll see. Uh, barbershop conversations, great card. Will the Mexican monster prevail? And is Kegel Plant and Breadman on one accord? I don't know. This is their second fight. He had J Rock since a young lad. It was preparations. Uh, uh, I know Breadman is like this. Is this mentor? That's Kennedy in her piano lesson. That's that's uh, uh, I understand. Steve Breadman is one of those guys. Like he's one of those cerebral guys. If you if you guys hadn't had a chance to read his work, go read his work. Uh, uh, boxing scene, etc. Um, I uh, you know, like it's, it's not a question of who I'm rooting for. You know what I mean? I definitely have a better relationship with Brad Manning and Caleb Plant. I also got a great admiration and respect for David Benavidez. But who I'm rooting for versus who can win, y'all don't want to hear who I like. Y'all want to know who I think is going to win. I honestly don't know. You know what I mean? So uh, it's a good fight. Uh, thank you for them agreeing to take the fight. I wish more fans were able to see it because this this is the fight. I know, I know, what's the guy's name? Um... Uh, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia is going to bring people to the fights. But this is the fight you want to watch with your friends, though. This is the fight, man. I ain't lying. This is the card. This is the fight. I'm, I'm just being honest. That, mo that Ramos, uh, damn, man. That Ramos fight versus uh, the kid from Michigan. I'm drawing the blank on his name right there. I always do this, but... Uh, Joey Spencer. Good fight. Good fight. Cody Crawley. Good, durable guy in Ramos. He should win that fight, I believe. Uh, and then we don't know. Was valid. I was high on Valenciaga. What's his name? Valenciaga. Val I don't know his name, but Jose. And uh, I'm not high on uh, uh, two tone his hair. I don't know his name. Uh, Chris Colbert. I'm not high on him, um, uh, but who's better? I don't know. You know, who's a fraud? Who's real? So we're going to have some fun with this, man. Do what you do. I'm not advocating you buy the fight. I'm the, you, if you stream it, you stream it. If you buy it, you buy it. I understand we live in, no one wants a $500 cable bill. I understand. However, this is the fight you want to watch with your friends. I'm going to say that. Caleb Plant, David Benavidez is the fight you want to watch with your friends. That's all I'm going to say. Invite your friends over. Y'all put your money in. Have a, I'm, I'm going to watch it with some friends and uh, have a great time with us. Anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.